Hey, what's up guys? MGH here. Welcome back to the Schalke career mode. Now, I've been thinking, with Harrit leaving in the transfer window, which we're only a couple of weeks away from, I need to decide what I'm going to do. And I've been thinking maybe I should use the Youth Academy again. So, as you know, I had three players in the Youth Academy, three very decent options, two that I was looking to bring up now and bring into the squad at some point this season, and one that I was going to wait and see what would happen. Um, basically, I've decided two of those players I'm going to bring into the squad in January. We have two games to play live, but also off camera, I've gone ahead and played a ton of games. So what we're going to do is check out the highlights from those games right now, and then we're going to come back and we have Dortmund. It's going to be a really tough one. So to kick things off, we had a German Cup game against Firth. I think I'm saying that right. Probably not, to be honest. We get off to a great start, though, just 21 minutes in against a weaker side. Yes, and I was still using some of my best players. We get our first goal of the game with De Ketelaer and then Bozdawan later on in the second half. Surprisingly, I was not able to completely dominate. He makes it 2-0. And then very soon after that, they completely capitulate. Valerie was absolutely fantastic on that right side. He does some hard work to get the ball into Hoppy, who makes it 3-0. And then right before the end of the game, Hoppy gets on the ball, turns, and he hits it into the top left corner. 4-0. Thank you very much. We're going through to the next round of the German Cup. And you guys know I would absolutely love it if we could do a little bit better this season. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, into the next game, we have Werder Bremen. And we get off to another pretty decent start. It is the captain, Serdar, who manages to finesse one in. Lovely little cut inside. He is such a good player. And then McKenney, his partner in crime, with one of my favourite passes of the season so far. A lovely little reverse ball. Just pings it through. Oh, so satisfying. And Wamangi Tuka scores again. We're doing well. That's two wins from two. And now into our next one against Hertha Berlin. They do not have Genduzi anymore, of course. Uh, let's just ignore that goal I just conceded. You guys don't need to see that one again. Just, just know that we're 1-0 down. You know, it, it happens. I gave away the ball in a stupid situation. What's new, right? But we want to try and get back in this game as soon as possible. We have a decent shot there with Kutachu. I was using him a lot more in these games. The corner comes in from that shot that was saved. And McKenney is there. What a player. He is currently my favourite player in the team. He is so well-rounded. I absolutely love him. So it's one all. We've got at least 20 minutes left. And De Ketelaer goes ahead and blasts us into the lead. 2-1 now. CDK with a rocket on his weaker foot. You love to see it. Another win. But now into an away game against Leverkusen. And they've got uh, a certain striker called Bellotti. Now, Bellotti is disgustingly good in this game. I don't know what it is. Every time I play against Bellotti, I struggle massively. He scores two goals in the first 30 minutes. This one was annoying. If you look at this replay, I made two very decent challenges. But I just got outdone by, I don't know, a, a quicker reaction from the CPU. It was very, very quick to turn and, and then shoot as well. Belotti was absolutely tearing me to bits, though. He gets an assist there for Palacios. We're in the second half now. 3-0 down. Somehow, I do manage to pull one back, though, with Agu. Don't score very often with him. That's a good finish. And I thought maybe there's a way back in this game, but no. We, we all know that that's not the case. And they score Again, it's very frustrating. And guess who it is? Belotti with the assist. He got two goals, two assists. He absolutely tore us apart in that game. So the winning streak comes to an end again. Up against Hoffenheim at home. We concede in 22 minutes. Ward Prowse with a lovely finish. It was lovely build-up play. They've got Dela Cruz in midfield. One of the quickest central midfielders in the game. And he was a nightmare to play against. He puts Marlon through to make it 2-0 early on in the second half. And to be honest... Marlon could have easily made it three right at the end of the game. Five added minutes. Come on, game. It finishes 2-0. We lose again. Back into the German Cup. We are playing our next round. And we get off to, again, a poor start in this game. 36 minutes in. It's just a simple ball over the top and then a header. It's, it's unbelievable. How? How? 
I, I don't get it. I really don't. We needed to fight our way back in this game. I was playing so badly. But Harrit, who I subbed on late in the game, he actually got the captain's armband, which I thought was interesting. It must be because he's one of the higher rated players. He gets us back in the game with a beautiful goal. And then how about that for a pass up to Matondo in added time. Can he bury it? Of course he can. The young Welsh left midfielder slash striker, I guess, finally scores one for us. And it could be a massive goal. And we just go ahead and complete the, uh, the greatest bit of added time or extra time that we've had in this series so far. And we make it 3-1. So now we go into our next Bundesliga game against Freiburg. This is one of the funniest goals I've conceded. I thought I was going to make the tackle. It hits the post and bounce off the, the keeper's legs a couple of times. And then off the post again. It was like a bit of pinball going on there. And then they finish it. So 1-0 down. Again, just starting off so badly in the first half of a game. But Wamangi Tuka with his weak foot now improved. Guys, I can confirm. I did add him into some training and he now has three star and I believe he'll have four star weak foot by the time these games ended so yeah I think he's got four star which is exactly what we need and he's gone ahead and won us the game in the dying moments against Freiburg we did not deserve to win this game but we did it a last minute winner from Wamangi Tuka. he has definitely been the best player this season so far and there he is putting in a great ball and <laughs> He's celebrating it. I knew straight away. Oh, it's an own goal. One of the best finishes you're going to see. Look at this. Absolute beauty. He's headed that perfectly into the corner. So massive shout out to the, um, the defender there that's given us a 1-0 lead. Thank you very much. Now into the second half. And they score a second goal in the game. And it's another header. And that makes it 1-0 against Hamburg here. Going into the final 10 minutes or so, Matondo is through on goal. He deserved to start this next game and he scores again. We are rewarded by selecting him. Do you know what? He is getting better and better. Maybe I should be using him more, especially if I'm playing a more attacking formation. Play him down on that left side. By the way, it was a lovely pass from Kolasinac that put him in. Well played. This is the table after 15 games. We have now got seven wins, two draws, six losses. The exact same record as Frankfurt there. And we only have a zero goal difference. So it really has been up and down. Bayern are at the top. Dortmund are one point behind and we play them next. So just before we get into the game, I'm going to show you the youth players that I have in the youth academy. I've added in-game pictures and faces if you recognize the faces, let me know down in the comments and uh, let's see if you get it right. But at the moment, we have two players. We've got Max Haas. He is a center back, left footed, can play on the left and on the right as well. So very good option. 66 rated as well. Very good. And now we have Tice. I, I don't know if that's how to say his name, but it's what I'm going to go with. He is now 71 rated. He's gone up from 67 to 71. He finished his development plan, which was to convert him to a cam. And I need to do his work rates next because he has a medium attacking high defensive. So we'll definitely do that when we re when we call him into the squad. Um, with Haas, I should say he had five star skills. I thought that was completely ridiculous and I've actually removed it. I've made it two stars just because it felt weird having a six foot three defender that can have five, five stars. No. Nah. A centre back five star skills just I, I don't I don't personally think that's right, but maybe there are some de defenders out there, some centre backs that can can really skill up players. But there we go, guys. Two players that we will be calling up into the squad in January. We've got two games before we do that. Um, let's go ahead and do the development plan now that he's finished his other one, and we will do his high attacking work rate. That's the wrong one. Uh, so we want to do shadow striker, or we can do attacking midfielder. Now, that's interesting. Basically, I have to choose between passing or shooting. Ooh, I think I go Shadow Striker. Yeah, I think that's the better choice. His shooting is 65 on average. So let's go ahead and do that. And before you know it, he's going to have high attacking work rate and high defensive work rate. He will be used as Harrit's replacement, pretty much. So as you saw in those highlights just a minute or so ago... 
One player that has definitely been performing well recently is Matondo. So he is starting in this game. Another one that I've been impressed with recently is Valerie. He is also going to get a start at right back. Wamangi Tuka is the guy who comes out for Matondo. He was in need of a rest anyway. He had yellow fitness. So it was definitely time to take him out. Um, and also we, we've taken out Agu, who was also a little bit tired. So not only have I rotated the squad to use different players, it's also a good thing because a few players have played a lot recently. There is going to be a winter break soon, though. Don't forget in the Bundesliga throughout December. Uh, no, not December. Throughout January, you do get quite a nice break. Wait, what the hell? Sergio Ramos. When did Dortmund sign Sergio Ramos? That is absolutely mental. I think it's so funny how Real Madrid always seem to change their centre-backs in career mode. It happens every time. Varane is normally the one that gets sold. In this case, it's both Varane and Sergio Ramos, I believe, they've sold. Really strange, isn't it? Where is Jadon Sancho, by the way? Oh, there he is. He is in the team. For a moment, I couldn't see him. There's a race on here between him and Gvardiol. Gvardiol wins... So far, we've made it 35 minutes without conceding. That's pretty good. Here is Cordova into Valerie, into CDK with the cross. It is unfortunately not even going to go out for a corner. Honestly, though, guys, we're, we're having a very decent game so far. Look at that. We've won it back again. Harriet is doing well. Here is Matondo into CDK. Back inside to Harriet here. Oh, no. I've done too much. We've still got it. Into Serdar. To McKenney. Oh, my God. I went with the uh, maybe more risky pass there when maybe I could have passed it across. And there's half time. Honestly, I'm very happy with this performance. Right now, I would say we look the more likely to score. And that's incredible considering how big of an occasion this game is. A massive derby. And so far, we are actually on top. Away from home as well. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Matondo's going to get there. No! So close. Who was that? Was that Hummels? I think it was. Actually, I can't tell. I think it was. He's a quality defender. I can't believe how good he still is. Here's McKenney. Over here to Cordova. Inside for Harrit. Here we go. Finish it, please. He's hit the bar. He's hit the bar from there. No way. I cannot believe it. What a chance. And can you believe it that EA still haven't fixed the manager problem with wearing the kit? <laughs> it's only, you know, 2021 now. We're, we're almost into February. You know, no big deal. Double change now. We are bringing in Van Acker on the left. I'm going to give him a go on the left side. I've done it a few times recently and quite liked it, to be fair. And we've also brought in Mascarell into midfield as Serdor, Serdar, not Serdor, Serdar comes off. Here come Borussia Dortmund. Got to be careful here. We've been so good this entire game defensively. Really haven't made any mistakes. So I want to keep it that way. Although they, they do look good at this point. Oh, look at that. Kabak gets in there with the tackle. It's a ball up to CDK, who isn't the quickest. So we are going to have to release this. Okay, now what? Can I have some help, please? I'm going to hold up the ball into CDK again. Oh, I saw Harriet make a little run. Unfortunately, I didn't quite pull it off. That would have been brilliant. Oh, my God. Come back again. He's having a fantastic game. Another great tackle there. And they've taken off Hummels. Was that what? They've taken off Hummels and brought on Zuma. They're, they're making a defensive change when they need to win this game. That makes no sense. It's going to be a corner now. This is where you want Hummels in the box, maybe. Sancho to take it. Mendel's there. Oh, no. Straight to Witzel. Hazard. Sergio Ramos. Thought about shooting. I don't think he was able to because I was so quick to get on him. Now, here's Cordova. Oh, my God. Sergio Ramos gets back. What a signing. It's unbelievable, isn't it? And we've actually won this back now. Inside here to McKenney. Into CDK. On the left of Zuma. Back into McKenney. Oh, we've got the rebound. McKenney's made a great run. Is he going to get there? He is, but the save from Berkey. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Now it's end-to-end -end stuff. We've got Sancho running through. I couldn't switch to Mendil there. God damn it. 
Gvardiol's on his case. Gvardiol is not easily beaten. He hasn't been able to clear that one. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't deserve this. Don't you dare. Come on, win the tackle. Yes, McKenney. Nicely done. Make a run, Van Acker, on the inside. Oh, please. Please, 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 please. Inside. Oh, McKenney's in. McKenney. Yes! In the last five minutes. I think that might be a winner. We are so close to beating our fierce rivals away from home in the derby. Oh, my God. And it's Van Acker on that left side who provides the goal. It was so nearly too close to the keeper. Right, I need to be careful here. This is why I saved one sub. I am going to go for it. We're going with a DM. We'll put Mascarell in there. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Mascarell as the DM, and then we will be bringing in Bozdawan. Okay, right. Big, big final kind of five minutes, six minutes, including injury time here. Just hold on. How good is McKenney, by the way? My God, what a player. Absolutely love him. I'm so, so glad that we voted to keep him in. I would have definitely struggled without him in some games. We could be in again here. Oh, what? That was not the pass I was looking for. I tried to get it on the left wing for Van Acker. But it doesn't matter, guys. We have beaten Dortmund. Oh, my God. This is one of the best results we've had. What a result. That could seriously damper Dortmund's hopes of winning the title again. And this is officially their first loss in the Bundesliga this season. Not even Sergio Ramos could help them keep a clean sheet against the mighty Royal Blues. And we will take those three points. Thank you very, very much. It wasn't the best performance ever from either team. It was actually very, very even. So that makes it all the more sweeter, to be honest. Up next, it is Wolfsburg. They are right behind us with a game in hand. One point behind, so if they beat us, they will go clear and still have an extra game to play. Mascarell is happy with the game time that I gave him there. I'm proud of you. He is actually a very decent midfielder. I do like him. The only downside is, as a central midfielder, he loses some of his overall because he's technically a DM. And I don't really play with a DM, so that is definitely a bit of a shame. But let's get into the next game now. We will have Wamangituka back. Cannot wait. He will be playing as a striker in this game. CDK will drop to Cam. McKenney and Serdar will play behind. Matondo again on the left. He is having some very good games at the moment. Cordova on the right, of course. Agu comes back in with Kabak, Gvardiol and Kalasnach comes back in as well. I don't know if there's any other players I want to bring in, although Van Acker has been very good as well recently. I'm quite tempted to give him a go on the left and maybe rest Matondo for this one, or at least... Bring him on in the second half. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to do it. Let's give Van Acker a go. I quite I quite liked him on the left. He, he's doing a very decent job there. You guys know I've gone through so, so many different formations. And I still always end up coming back to a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-3-3. It just seems to work best for me. In terms of just getting a balanced team every single time, the only issue is sometimes it doesn't seem to work against certain formations. So I think... I am slowly but surely learning when to use it and when not to. I will be trying out a 4-4-2 at some point. I think that could be a good formation to try. But you guys know I, I, I like to change it up every now and again. Oh my god, that was so close. Just generally enjoy using different formations every now and again. Here is Van Acker. Serdar. Oh my god, what a tackle. Wait, I want the free kick. Damn it. Oh, never mind. We'll just score anyway. Go on. Yes! The Ketelaire scores in the first 10 minutes. Oh, this is this is feeling good, guys. I'm feeling good about this. I think Wolfsburg are there for the taking. And this is what we need. If we really, really want to fight for the top eight or even the top six, we need to win games like this against the teams that are near us. And the Ketelaire, his left foot is... I mean, it's, it's brilliant. It really is. All we've got to do is keep Sabozlai quiet. Don't let Sabozlai get on the ball inside the box. Because that will be an issue, for sure. Let's play this down the left. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Here is Van Acker. I'm going to switch it over to Cordova. De Ketelaire could be in some space here. Go on, get that. Yes. Up against Holgate. He's done well. He's still going here. Into Wamangituka. Oh, Castiles. Comfortable save in the end. But it was almost 2-0 already. 
Got to be careful here though, Philip. Crosses it. Oh no. No! Out of nowhere. We've dominated. And they've equalised through their first attack. Unreal. It was a good finish. Very good cross. That is how easy it is to concede. I, I, I've got to be really careful. They've got a dangerous front four or five players. Nice, Fanaka. CDK into Cordova. Back to CDK. Oh, my God. So close once again to getting through. Oh, no, I've lost it. Oh, no, not the counter-attacks. They do seem to be getting themselves into this game a lot more now. Thankfully, Agu's cleared this one up. Now what? I've got no one to pass to other than backwards. Okay, I'm just going to put this on the left side. Van Acker's going to make a run. He's having a great game. He really is. I need to add left wing as a position for him. Let's try a cheeky pass inside. Oh, didn't work. That has worked recently for me. Oh, no. Just trying to put it in front of the runners, but for some reason... That time, it just wasn't a very accurate pass. Oh, no. Please get that. Okay, we're good. And that is half time. This is close. We started well. The first 15, 20, 25 minutes, we were all over them. All it took was a goal for them. They're back in this game, and actually, they finished very strongly there. Gorman Mangituka. I was hoping for a better pass there, but look at this. Serdar has made a great run. It's a terrible pass, though. Back post. Wamangi took Oh my god. So close. What a save that was. Here's McKenny now. Serdar. Inside for Van Acker. And Van Acker hits the bloody bar. Are you kidding me? Oh. We deserve to be winning now. That's two incredible chances already in this second half. Another chance here, maybe. Serdar scores! What an assist from McKinney and what a finish from the captain. There it is. That's what we needed, guys. Three chances already in this half. One of them has gone in. And it's that duo, McKinney and Serdar. They are brilliant together. What a cross that is. The defender, what was he thinking letting him get in front of him? Oh, dearie me. Right, I'm going to make some changes now. Van Acker is going to go over to the right side. He's having a good game. I'm actually going to take Cordova off and bring in Matondo. I'm going to bring in Bozdoan as well for CDK. And uh, I'm going to save a sub. Doing three changes, whilst it's good to give your, your team a massive boost of energy, it does mean if anything happens, you've, you've not got another sub. If there's an injury, if there's a red card, it does mean you could potentially need another sub and not be able to do it. Oh, God, that was interesting, Kolasinac. God damn it. 63 minutes in. It's 2 all. What a game this is. And guess who it is? Of course it's Sabozlai. I'm not watching that. I'm not doing it. We just need to forget it happened. I wanted to score one more anyway to make sure. Now we just need another one to win. God damn it, man. This is ridiculous. Why all of a sudden are my defenders not able to defend? How is that a penalty? You've got to be kidding me. Out of nothing, this game has disappeared, potentially. Oh, it is. It is a pen. He hasn't fallen, but you don't have to fall. It's still a foul. Please save it. I went there. No, it was such a good pen. It still goes in. Oh, my God, guys. That was such a good penalty. Any other day, I saved that. Look how close I was to getting this with Horn. Oh my god, it's hit the bar and gone in. It is the perfect penalty. There's no saving that. Oh, wow. And just like that, I'm very happy I've saved a sub because we need to do something. We need to score two goals if we want the three points. And I'm just giving it away like an idiot. Oh, this went quickly downhill, didn't it? Um, Harrit. Swap him with Bozdawan like that. That's the change I'm going to make. I think Wamangatuka is going to be needed. So I'm not going to take him off and put on a different striker or whatever. I think the key is going to be the build-up from midfield. That's a good ball. This is where Wamangatuka is so good. Van Acker's made a run into the box here. I'm going to have to turn, though. I can't give it to him yet. No. The pass was bad. Here is Agu. We've still got a chance here. 
Oh, Van Acker, you're a mile offside. That's my fault. I don't know why I passed that. Come on. There's still time to get a draw here. I'm just very, very happy I got that win against Dortmund now. Two losses in a row would have been awful. Here we go. Wamangi Tuka. Inside for Harrit. Please get there. He's just got there. Oh, my. No. Yes. It's Bostawan. I thought it was Harrit. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. We still have 10 minutes here. Bozdawan has potentially rescued a point, but I want more. I want more. Six goals in this game. I think that makes up for the lack of goals in the last one. There is still time. There is still hope. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. No. Bad pass. Fernandez saw that come in. We need to win it back now. Otherwise, we're going to run out of time. No. I saw that run. Don't you even think about it. Yes. Good tackle. This is it. This is it. Wamanga took her. Please. Please be a good pass. Oh, Holgate saw that one as well. No, guys, what a game. I'm glad I didn't lose it, but my God, we should have won this. I threw it away with, again, just bad defending, bad choices, and just, oh, it's a floating ball. Just not putting away my chances. I had double the amount of chances they had. Dortmund got a win. They've bounced back. Bayern got a 2-0 win as well. What does that mean for the league table then? So we are in seventh place. It's not too bad. Eight wins, three draws, six losses. We now have a plus one goal difference. Get in there. Now, the draw maybe isn't too bad. Wolfsburg have now caught up on games played and they're still one point behind us. So... It wasn't all bad. We are level on points with Hertz of Berlin, who are in sixth place. Uh, we're only a couple of wins away from potentially challenging the top five. But yeah, it's going to be tough. And up next, we've got Leverkusen. So that is an absolute must win. But of course, that game will be in the next episode. We have a lovely winter break going into the window here. So we'll simulate our way to the 1st of January. And we are actually going to make a couple of changes to the squad. I've got some players that I've shortlisted to sell. And I've also got some youth players that I want to call up, as you know. Harrit is gone. It is done. Okay, right. I'm, I'm gutted. I really am. We've got an offer here for Bujalab. He is a player that I'm potentially looking to sell. Great player. He, he's fine, but 68 rated. Tice, my youth academy player is already better than him and he's what 16 17 years old so it makes sense to let him go now the problem is i'm not really going to get much for him i was i was hoping i'd get maybe 3 million but it doesn't look like we're going to get that um maybe i can get 2.5 let's go ahead and negotiate here and see if this club are willing to i didn't even see who the club was see if they're willing to pay a little bit more so i'll go 2.5 I think that's a fair price for a player that is decent. Nothing special, but he's decent. And okay, they'll do it. 2.5 million. Nice. I like him, but we'll we'll let him go because we're bringing in another cam now. So Harrit's gone. We know that. Youth squad monthly report. They haven't gone up any further, but um, it's time. Promote. Promote. It is done, guys. And that completes... The youth development uh, objective, which is great news. Our manager rating should go up from that. There it is, up to 79 now. And you can see they are now in the squad. This is why I added pictures. They look so much better than the stupid youth academy pictures that you get. And um, they're ready to go. They can start playing. I mean, Tice is good enough to get in the team now, arguably. Is he going to be good enough to be my first team cam or is De Ketelair going to drop down to Cam? Wamangi Tuka goes a striker and then I bring in a left winger. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, but another player that we're looking to sell is Becker. He's 24, I think. Yep, 24, 69 rated. Why keep him when I've got Haas coming in now, who is already technically better. He's much quicker. He's got better passing, dribbling, and he's 16. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a no-brainer to replace Becker with him. We've still got Sane, of course. So, yeah, another player I'm also looking to sell is Merchan. I don't think he's going to make it at this club. So we'll, we'll also try and let him go and get something for him. Maybe a million. 
I don't know. Let's see what kind of offers we get in. Obviously, I've got around 30 million euros to spend now that uh, Harrit has gone. And by the way, Tice will take his number 25 shirt and uh, Haas has the number 23 shirt, I think it was. But do I really want to be bringing anyone in or do I want to rely on the youth? That was kind of the objective of this series and I, I don't really want to steer away too much. Bujalab has been sold, so that is one player gone. Still waiting for an offer to come in for Merchan and Becker. Um, back into training here. Of course, I have I think I've done about 80, maybe 90% of the training drills. So every now and again, I'm still going to be getting a, a D, I think it is, you get. So training isn't completely overpowered in this series, at least. It's a good picture there of De Ketelet scoring in the draw against Wolfsburg. Leverkusen news. And Belotti gets player of the month of December. What a surprise. Probably, mainly because of the two goals, two assists he got against us. And there is Bujalab at his new club. I didn't mean to click off that. Okay, let's go a few more days here. See if we get any more offers in. Well, that's not really what I had in mind. Wolfsburg, loan to buy for Van Acker. No chance. And that reminds me, I should add left wing as a position for Van Acker. He was actually pretty good there. Typically, I don't like my left wingers to be left footed, but it kind of works. I think his crossing is very decent and his passing as well. Still no offer, other offers coming in. I might take a look at potentially loaning in a left-sided player. My my preferred choice would be to potentially replace um, Raman at some point. So maybe a loan to buy for a left midfielder. Matondo, though. What about Matondo? This is the problem. I've got quite a few choices. There is one player that a lot of people have been commenting, and that is Christos Tzolis. Tzolis, maybe? I'd have to learn how to pronounce his name. He is an exciting prospect. I already know there's face mods available for him. And he's a left winger, right footed. It, it kind of works. Maybe he could be a player that we could loan to buy or just buy outright. We're going to go ahead and shortlist him and scout him. I think he could be a very good option for us. His in-game face looks so bad. I will definitely get a mod if we sign him. Five foot nine, good work rates. I mean, it's a shame his skill moves aren't great, but we can train that. Plays on the right, plays at striker as well. This could be a very good signing. So um, let's, let's find out how much he would cost, whether it's worth loaning with a buy option maybe, or if I just go in and sign him straight away. We are already halfway through January. A game is coming up very soon. I kind of want to get that deal done before the game, if possible. And of course, it is against Leverkusen, so I could do with having a new exciting signing make his debut in that game. But uh, I don't think we're going to get the scout report in time. Damn, that's annoying. Um, Valerie really wants to play. I'll think about it. He has been very good recently. We've got two really good right backs, to be fair. Let's see, have we got any stats yet? I mean, we do. Oh, wow. Wow. I can see why everyone's saying you should look at this guy. He is very quick. Very quick indeed. His finishing is 73 to 83. Oh, my God. Guys, I think I just do it. What have I got to lose? We've just made 20-odd million through the sale of Harrit. Why not reinvest it in a player that could really change the team? Whenever I play Wamangi Tuka up front, I do feel like I'm missing a proper left winger. Matondo is, is good. He does a job. But I have a feeling someone like this, someone so explosive and, and better at shooting as well. Don't forget, Matondo's shooting isn't great. This guy would be an upgrade for sure. So do you know what, guys? I don't know how much he's going to cost. I don't know what his wages are going to be. But I know for a fact... I can afford this. I can. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. He's available. Why not? Let's just go ahead and sign him from Pauk. Pauk? Is that how you say it? P-A-O-K? -okay. I think that's what I used to call them. Um, we'll just offer a player swap at first and see if they would be willing to take one of my youngsters that I'm looking to sell. One of them being... Oh, wow. Tice is worth 4.3 million already. How is he worth more than Bozdawan? <laughs> that's crazy. I'm going to offer Mir Chan at first. Um... Oh, God, how much? How much is he worth? I mean, I can make an educated guess. He's probably what? 
mid 70s, low 70s. Um, I, I want to say maybe 10 million, but I'm really worried that potentially because we're in season two, he he could be way higher rated than that. Uh, this is this is a bit of a a guess, and I don't really like doing that. Um, what if I submit this? Obviously, they're going to reject it, but maybe they'll come back with a price. Or they could just storm out because the player's not worth enough. Um, have I got a player that I want to sell that's worth a lot more, potentially? We still have um, Becker that's ready to sell. He's worth 2.9. I think that's a bit more of a, a better chance. What I'll do is I'll throw in 5 million. So we're, we're almost at a 10 million mark. I have no idea if this is going to be a right amount. Let's see what happens. Becker plus 5 million. Oh, sh well, I balls that one up. We will not be signing him in this episode. And he will not be ready for the game against Leverkusen. He's clearly a lot higher rated than I thought. So we'll come back for him in the next episode. But I'm excited at the prospect of signing him. I'll go ahead and get a face and in-game picture and stuff made. And in the next episode, we'll, we'll try and get him. But um, Leverkusen, at the start of the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, leave a like rating. And I will see you tomorrow at 7pm for another episode.